Welcome back. It's 843 and it is a DMV first warn day. We are tracking your forecast starting off with a live look outside over the National Cathedral and you've been hearing Jackie all morning talking about uh, just so much weather activity happening today. So if you're going to be out and about Jackie. People should keep their eye on the sky. Yeah, or at least move any of those plans a little bit earlier in the day as opposed to later in the day. Thinking 2 p.m. is when we'll start to notice a few of the stronger thunderstorms starting to pop up and we're going to be tracking strong to severe thunderstorms scattered across the region through the afternoon and evening hours as a cold front will be sliding on through out ahead of it though we're tracking the heat and the humidity it's a hot and humid start to the week out there you'll certainly notice that as you're stepping out the door this morning spot thunderstorm is possible as we look at towards tomorrow for the holiday again just a spot thunderstorm into the early afternoon then we should be dry just in time for those fireworks displays tomorrow evening and then we're tracking typical summer weather where we're talking about the heat, humidity and the threat for some scattered afternoon thunderstorms through much of that eight day forecast for the eight o'clock hour. Let's talk about those temperatures though out there right now right around 80 in DC we're low 80s Waldorf and Lexington Park just jumped up to 80 not too long ago in Fredericksburg 70s for much of the region upper 60s still holding on to that in Cumberland at this hour. We're looking at those dew points too it is a super Soupy start when we're talking about dew points, upper 60s to low 70s, and that humidity will be sticking around through the day today. Starting to notice a little bit of those lighter rain showers starting to push their way in. The light green on your screen showing that into north central Maryland, even across parts of Virginia. We're seeing that in Culpeper, Luray, even right around Front Royal, seeing that sprinkle sliding on through, even over towards parts of West Virginia. But we'll be watching for that cold front that's starting to fire up some of those showers and storms out towards the Columbus, Ohio area. We'll be watching as that cold front swings through from west to east later on today. The Storm Prediction Center has put us under that slight risk for the I-95 corridor, much of northern Virginia, even across southern Maryland and parts of north central Maryland as well. But back over back over towards the I-81 corridor, that's at marginal risk. So the slight risk a little bit higher. That's two out of five on that severe scale. Marginal risk one out of five. So it's not zero, but we'll still likely see some of those stronger thunderstorms popping up. The main threats will be wind and hail. Now for the threat of tornadoes, it's not zero, but it is on the low end, so we'll have to continue to monitor that. Flooding is possible, especially where we do see the heaviest of those downpours setting up. So when we take a look at future cast with the timing, we'll certainly notice the heat and the humidity today. We'll see those highs stretching into the upper 80s to low 90s, and the feels like temperatures when you factor in that humidity will feel like we're into the upper 90s at times. So thankfully, we will be tracking some of the rain showers to move through, and that will certainly cool things off just a little bit. But by 7 p.m., we're still tracking those widely scattered showers and storms. And like I mentioned, some of these could be on the strongest severe side before eventually those slide out. Still a few clusters of storms with us by about 10 p.m. And then we should be drying out overnight tonight into tomorrow. Tomorrow morning, starting off dry temperatures in the 70s before bouncing back right around 90 as we look ahead towards your July 4th. But we could be seeing that stray shower or storm into the afternoon before eventually that fades away. And we'll be tracking those dry conditions just in time for those fireworks celebrations across the region. But temperatures will be varying into the 80s later on tomorrow evening. We're looking at mid 80s by about 8 p.m. That sunset is at 836 right around 9 p.m. when those fireworks start going off. We'll be low 80s, but we'll be muggy and still muggy by about 10 p.m. Towards the end of those fireworks displays with temperatures right around 80 degrees. As we take a look at that eight day forecast for the eight o'clock hour, we're looking mainly dry on Wednesday. And then those scattered thunderstorms will be back with us Thursday and Friday. But look at those highs right around 90 degrees through much of this week. We're upper 80s this upcoming weekend and still upper 80s. As we start off that following work week next Monday, mainly cloudy. Shanika is back with another check of those roadways. How's traffic? All right.